Mr. Tony Pearson, how long ago has it been that you were here? Uh, about eight years ago, the last time I was yeah. vi visiting here, yes. Do you remember anything from, well, let's say 75 years back? Uh, not at all, because <clears throat> we bypassed the city. Uh, we went uh, to the east of here. And uh, so we crossed over the Skipi Canal and then worked our way up north toward Groningen. And I've been here probably over the last 20 years, five times. Oh, five times. times anyway, yeah. four yeah. times anyway. Yeah. You're a hero here. Yeah? So, uh, <laughs> yes. So we, uh, for some reason, we started coming here and then we met people, friends, and then we just kept coming. There's a war in Ukraine going on. Can you, do you have any memories of that? Of, of, oh, yes, I, I certainly do. I, I haven't... Uh, yeah. um, the small details I've forgotten, but the major things i probably never forget, yeah. No. No. What is it that you never forget? Well, the uh, first thing is uh, uh, sleeping in the ground all the time. And uh, there was no safe place unless you were somewhere where there was out of range of the uh, uh, shell fire and whatnot. So we always um, were pleased when we got to a safe area and had a bit of rest. And as a result of that, it made life a little bit easier and better. Yes, yes. Because we moved north to Groningen, and then after leaving Groningen, <clears throat> we went to. Germany, where we ended up in May 5th. Yeah. I, I, I believe you uh, were not home until 1946? That's right, yes. I was one of the lucky ones or unlucky ones who had to stay here. Uh, and I spent the uh, time in England from the time the war ended until I uh, was back home on Christmas 46. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the people here now? Well, the people are always great, and uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's always like coming home when we come back here. Yeah, we enjoy the hospitality, and it's really, uh, um, and we were really disappointed when the uh, COVID uh, created all this havoc, and we weren't able to come. And how was the resistance of the Germans? Well, there were pockets of, of severe resistance. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where we got into trouble from time to time, yes. So. Lost any comrades? Oh, yes, oh, yes, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I was in Groningen, or in um, Grosbeek yesterday and visited some of the graves there and also saw some up here. In the, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I've spent a total of 36 years in the armed forces now. Oh, have you? Yeah, so <clears throat> when I got back, I... Um, I had no idea what to do, and uh, so the only thing I knew was the military, so I switched to the Air Force, and I spent the remainder of my service career with the Air Force. Yes, yeah, and then we got involved in this uh, atomic warfare stuff. Oh, atomic yeah. warfare? Well, you know, the, all the uh, um, bases that were set up, yeah. you know, underground bunkers, and so, so we had to maintain communication and do, you know, all those things that associated in the event of a bomb came down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, they do that in Ukraine now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My, my dad said, well, we've had for 60 years, we had peace. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And, uh, well, we thought it would be forever. What do you think? No, history repeats itself, I guess. So it's always going to be the same, yeah. Thank you very much, Tony. You're welcome. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah.